Hi, I'm Susie Cohen, America's Pharmacist, and today I want to talk to you about diabetes. And I wrote the book on it, Diabetes Without Drugs. Now on page 93 of my book, I talk about measuring serum insulin and how important that is. I actually believe that measuring your insulin is far more important than your blood sugar. Seriously. It's so important because if you have high insulin, that causes a cascade of inflammatory chemicals to rise and it could be a contributing factor in many diseases, awful ones, including Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and some autoimmune problems. So you want your insulin levels to be low. Now, you're probably wondering why am I so worried about it if I wrote about diabetes and that's all about blood sugar. Well, the reason is because your blood sugar may be perfectly normal for years while you are developing problems like kidney disease, and that could be because you already have prediabetes, and you're on your way to developing diabetes, and no one's telling you because your blood sugar levels are normal. This is terrible. So that's why I want you to measure your serum insulin levels every time you go to have your blood sugar measured with your doctor. You can do it, you know, even two to three times a year would make me happy. And the ratio of serum insulin to glucose is far more important. And, and so on page 93, um, what you want is a ratio of glucose to insulin that is greater than 10 to 1. And you can use your numbers and do the math. Now, the optimal serum insulin level should be 5 to 10 micro units per mil. And if your level is higher than 10, then you are at great risk for diabetes. Now, it's really important to understand the, the big deal here because Everybody knows your insulin will rise after you eat you know, your food. It's supposed to, and then it comes back to normal. So the problem I'm talking about isn't the transient change in insulin, it's the chronic elevation of insulin that leads to insulin resistance and diabetes, and that's the problem. The doctors aren't measuring that. They're measuring your fasting blood sugar and other markers for blood glucose, and if they're fine, they're telling you you're fine, but you may not be and you may well be on your way to diabetes. So please, please, please have your serum insulin checked along with your fasting blood sugar and make sure that you're getting well. And in my book, I do offer ways to reduce that. Okay, I'll see you next time. Well, your doctor may be telling you that your blood sugar is fine, and it might very well be, but that's because your pancreas is on overdrive, working like crazy to squirt out insulin to keep your blood sugar normal. It's kind of like a seesaw. So your, your insulin may be very, very high, and insulin makes you fat. No ifs, ands, or buts. So your insulin may be high while your blood sugar is kept in the normal range. And if they're only looking at this and this is normal, you're going to slip through the cracks. If your doctor won't run this test, then you need to ask another doctor to run your test. You need to demand it. Your doctor works for you, okay? So if you want a simple blood insulin test, then you need to just ask for